This is FP3, June 2012, question 4. It's a groups question. In this question, they give us uh, an operation table in terms of four elements, A, B, C, and D. And they tell us that group G is isomorphic either to the multiplicative group H, E, R, R squared, R cubed, or to the multiplicative group K, E, P, Q, and P, Q. It's given that r to the 4 equals e in group h and that p squared equals q squared equals e in group k. They even denote their identity in each group. And so write down the operation table for h and k. So we'll get started with that operation table first up. So for h here, we've got e, r, r squared, and r cubed. So e, r, r squared, and r cubed. So, easy enough to write in the first row and first column because it's E blobbed with each of these. Um, R blah blah then is going to be R squared. R blah blah R squared is R cubed. R blah blah R cubed is R to the 4, but we know from the question that R to the 4 is E. And we can see from the rule of the reference square it had to be there. So, we can fill that in and then that's got to be E as well. Then R squared blah blah R squared, R to the 4, which is e at this point and then r squared r cubed is r to the fifth well r to the four is e so that just leaves us with an r and r cubed r squared r to the fifth which is r to the fourth block r e blah r which is just r and r cubed r cubed is r to the six r to the four is e that leaves us with r squared and that's our latin squared for h now k is comprises E, P, Q, and P, Q, and then E, P, Q, and P, Q. And those of you who like groups will already be realising that the choice of the letter K to denote this group is not an accident, that this group is the Klein 4 group, also known as fear, or V. Now we'll just fill in these two, the first row and first column, because they're pretty obvious. And the Klein 4 group is the other distinct group of that four elements. That's one of them, so isomorphic to Z4 plus, and this Klein group is the other. Now we were told in the question that P squared was E, so we can fill this in, and Q squared was E, so we can fill that in. Then the rest I've got. PQ here, well PQ is PQ, and uh, in this P block PQ is then going to have to be uh, P squared Q, P squared is E, so that just leaves me with Q, and the rules of Latin square would say otherwise, would say the same. Then Q block P is going to have to be PQ, and PQ, PQ block P is also is going to have to be just Q there to fit in there. Then PQ Q going to have to be P, and PQQ there is going to have to be P there, and finally PQ squared is going to have to be E. Now, so this one we have all of the elements are self-inverse and in the line of E's down the centre. So that's the operations table for those two groups. And that was the answer to part one of this. Now, part two, they said state the identity element of G. Well, the identity element of G um, is going to be the one... Oh, state the identity element of G. Now, if you have a look at uh, the question here, you should be able to see it here. So if you have a look at this question, um, what we're looking for is the element who, which results in a row or column identical to either the title row at the top or at the left. So we're looking for A, B, C, D down here. So if we see in the table here, um, that second row, A, B, C, D, is exactly the same. So that means that B must be the identity element, and you can see it down there in the column. So um, identity element... Sorry, it's like a technical hitch there. The identity element of G 
G is B. Now, the best thing, to, the best way to start this part three is to figure out which of H and K G is isomorphic to. Now, uh, in G, there's only one element that is of order two, and that's A. Uh, you can see from the uh, operation table that A blob A equals B. Now, uh, that means if we then go back to our other two groups here, and we have a look at these two groups, uh, each of these elements here are all uh, order two, but in G, only R squared here is of order two. Sorry, in H, only R squared is of order two. So that means that it's H is isomorphic to G, not K. So we know that G is isomorphic to H um, because there is only one order two element. So now we know which group we need to match to. Uh, we can start to think about our correspondence. Now we'll start with the easy one, which is um, in so H mapping to G. So in H, E maps to B. Um, the next one to pick out is the order two element. And uh, in H, R squared has to map to A, which is the order two element in G. And then after that, uh, we've got a choice, um, and it, we can map R to C and R cubed to D just by picking them out. Uh, but in fact, we could go the other way around. It won't actually make any difference because uh, they just swap themselves around. We could map R, Q, R to D and R cubed to C. And both of those correspondences would work. And if you want to actually see that happening, um, we can see that. Um, now, to see why we can map uh, R to C and R cubed to D, or map R to D and R cubed to C, you have to have a think about uh, the fact that R blob R cubed gets us E. So R blob R cubed is E in table G, and R cubed blob R equals E. And we also know that uh, D blob C equals B, which is the identity in the uh, in table G. And of course, you have to vert no mapping to identity is a very important part of being an isomorphism and C blob D equals B. And we can see that it doesn't matter which way round uh, you uh, operate this, because R blob R cubed is E and R cubed blob R is, is E. And then similarly over in table G, um, it doesn't matter which way round you do this um, operation. So we can quite simply swap over. We can either have uh, D mapping to R cubed or D mapping to R as long as C maps to R cubed or R in turn.